Hello guys. Welcome to Constrom GIS. So today we want to look at a very nice uh, plugin for detecting detecting uh, future land uses change detection. So this uh, plugin is called uh, Molasses. So on my interface you can see I have uh, a few rasters, one from 2019 and uh, another one from 2024. So this is my land use land cover. I have uh, six classes. The first class is uh, vegetation. Uh, number two is uh, farmlands. Three is the built up. Four is the rangelands. Five is the water. And six is the bare land. So I've used the same colors and you can see the changes. So this is 2019 and this is 2024. Now I want to know the change detection after five years from 2024, which is uh, 2029. And this plugin is going to help us also. Uh, find these uh, future land use uh, land cover for this area. So in the process, we will also generate the change detection map so that we can see how different classes have been transitioning to each other over the five uh, past five years, uh, which is 2019 to 2024. So that's it. We'll go to plugins and uh, we are going to search uh, for molasses. So you can just type M O L U, and then you can you can just uh, populate itself, and then you just going to install. For my case, I've already installed. So once uh, we have installed, and we have, I, I presume you already have our two uh, land use land cover maps. So I will go to raster, and the under under raster you you should see the molasses uh, plugin. Just click on it. And this is the interface that it's going to bring us to. So you need to have the input, uh, have the initial layer. Now for our case is 2019. And then I'm just going to click initial. And then the final, the 2024 raster should be the final. So that it can start uh, the process of uh, predicting future land use. So that said, we can come to the special variables and add either of these to compare the layers and if the geometries and uh, projections are in order so add that and check uh, geometry you can see that the geometries of the raster are matched so that means we can uh, proceed so if in case you get any error you can also do try with uh, the 2024 remove that uh, confirm the geometry and they they all match so the next step is uh, evalu evaluating the correlation between these two layers and uh, you can see uh, I can be able to check uh, Let's uncheck this and uh, first layer, let it be 20, should be 2019. But let's check for this. And you can see the value of coloration. And uh, I'm going to share maybe a few, uh, some of these uh, parameters that have been uh, input here, like the first, second method. You can see there are different methods of coloration and where Pearson is used uh, in this uh, scenario. Uh, so I'll share some uh, short uh, descriptions of these uh, 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 values and what they have specific uh, values like uh, these are uh, classification uh, method. So the next is the area change. So I'm going to do it in square kilometers and I'm going to update the tables. So this is the change uh, over the past five years. You can see this is uh, 2019, 2024 and the change uh, in detection. And I'm going to create a, a change map from this. So I can call it change, uh, maybe change. Uh, change one, save. And then it's going to create a change detection map. So if I, I minimize this, you can see this is now how changes have been happening over the past uh, five years. So this is uh, our change detection uh, map. You can see this is how land use has been changing from the past uh, five years and you can see how classes have been changing so it's changing from one to one meaning there's no change in this scenario and uh, one is a uh, forest two is a uh, yeah, farmlands you can see these are the land uh, has been changing over the past five years so we have our change detection map our change map for the past five years so next we need to do uh train this data to use uh, using an artificial neural network so that it can create a trading model sample that can be used in uh, predicting the next uh, land use uh, within the five years. So we come 
you'll come to this uh, interface under the tab of transitioning potential modeling and we're going to train a neural network so these are uh, is a um uh, are you going to train this model so that it can be able to classify land use uh, based on uh, uh from the uh, perspective of of the future so let's give it a second and uh we'll see you can also see uh the percentage uh overall accuracy so when it's uh closer to one uh, the less the value, the better the model is, the is, is in identifying the classes within the uh, the raster images that you shared. And also, you can see the current validation kappa, the accuracy of this model. As of now, it's arranging uh, between 90 and 80. So, once it's done, we're going to uh, proceed to save our simulated uh, land use land cover map. Let's give it a second to run. So our class uh, our training is uh, done. You can see we have uh, an accuracy of 90%, an overall accuracy of minus 0 0.003. That's a good indication that the model has uh, been able to train itself, and then we can use it to simulate future uh, land use covers. So let's go to cellular automation uh, simulation, and in this, uh, we need, need just to save the simulation result. And then we're going to leave this number of simulation to one. So if you increase this value, it means it's going to take more processing time and uh, uh, at the end also better results. For this demo, we're going to just maintain it at one. So I'm going to browse and save it as uh, maybe simulated. Uh, let me save it as future. Uh, my apologies. So this... So that's the feature and then I'm going to do a start. So it's going to go and simulate for the next five years. So let's give it a second and uh, we'll check out the results. And uh, here it is. It's done and you can see we have uh, now the feature. It has six classes and this is how it's going. It most likely going to look uh, like uh, in, uh, in an accuracy of 90%. So you can see there's a lot of changes. From the 2019 one, let's see from 2024. Uh, again, there are changes, but they are very, very minimal. Uh, you can see there, there is change, uh, but uh, very, very minimal. So that is it. And you can also go on uh, to, you can also see uh, more, there's more changes uh, for the future. So you can try out this and uh, uh, let me know how it goes in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel uh, as you keep on GISing. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.